Have you ever tried Japanese teas or thought of trying them? They are unlike any other teas with their fresh umami taste. In this video, we review Japanese green teas by a company called Hibiki An. Hibiki An is located in the town of Uji of Kyoto Prefecture, Japan. Uji is considered to be the birthplace of Japanese tea culture. They even offer teas on a limited basis that make their way to the national tea competition in Japan. The majority of green and black teas in the world are roasted, which produces a familiar smoky flavor. But the production of typical Japanese teas are very different. They are steamed, not roasted, which is why they have a distinct fresh taste. We have been using Hibiki An to get teas since 2018. They offer outstanding service and quality. Hibiki An sends their teas all over the world directly from Uji. If you want to give Hibiki An a try, you can find their website link in our description. Besides teas, Hibiki An also sells handmade authentic Japanese teaware, sweet treats and other tea accessories. Before we proceed with our tea taste test, here's what to know about the different types of Japanese teas. Generally, there are four main types, which are Sencha, Gyokuro, Hojicha and of course Matcha. Sencha is the most typical Ryokucha, which is translated as a green Ryoku tea cha. Sencha accounts for roughly 80% of all teas produced in Japan. When farmers produce sencha, they do very little or no shading. Shading is a technique that Japanese farmers use to develop different tea flavors, as we'll see in a sec. Typical sencha has a robust, fresh, grassy flavor that can change depending on the brewing temperature. Also, sencha made from the first month tea leaves harvest is called shincha, which means new tea. Shincha, which we will also try shortly, has an even fresher, sweet and somewhat mellow aroma. Gyokuro is another type of Japanese tea, which translates as jewel dew. Unlike Sencha, farmers shade Gyokuro for at least 20 to 30 days before harvesting the leaves. Shading causes increases in L-theanine, chlorophyll and caffeine. At the same time, it causes decreases in catechin and tannins. Tannins are substances that give tea its unique astringent bitter taste. With less tannins, Gyokuro has a mellow, umami flavor and savory sweetness. Although this tea has more caffeine, it also has more L-theanine, which balances out the caffeine and produces a calming effect. Conversely, there is Hujicha. It's one of the few roasted Japanese teas. As you will see in the sack, we buy Hujicha Karigani, which means roasted tea made from stems as opposed to tea leaves. This is what Karigani means. It has less caffeine and more woody and nutty flavor to it. Matcha is a finely ground powder of green tea leaves. Similar to Gyokuro, tea leaves from matcha are grown in shade 20 to 30 days before harvesting. After the stems and leaf veins are removed, the remaining leaf parts are ground into powder. As mentioned earlier, most Japanese teas are not roasted. Instead, they are steamed for 15 to 20 seconds after picking to prevent oxidation. Then farmers roll, shape and dry leaves to create a final product. Steaming locks and creates a leafy, almost grassy flavor with some umami-like hints of seaweed. So recently we ordered uh, teas from them and mm -hmm. uh, they sent us uh, this uh, package um, where yeah. we got all the teas. Well, they sent us um, this like as a little bag that's included, so it's like flat and then we can open it and put our teas in there. So they send it in a nice package, mm -hmm. pretty um, pretty fast from right directly from there. And Andre also got these for my birthday. Yeah, so these are teacups. Uh, they're handmade from uh, um, some artists uh, in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very pretty. They're like uh, vases, like two vases. But these are not the first uh, teacups that we mm -hmm. ordered from from, from them. the the same um, Art artist. Artist, yes. So we have these other ones, these seasonal, the autumn season, it's very pretty. Yes. These uh, Japanese maples, yeah, they're all very beautiful and they're the same amount actually. But you won't find them, like we yeah. bought them, they are not sold anymore. Because they're handmade, but uh, if you visit Japan as we did, we got uh, other teacups that are very cheap, but they're not handmade, I don't think Probably at least. Probably not. But they're very pretty too, very um, pretty too. Those in Ky Kyoto? In Kyoto, in Kyoto, yes. We were just walking uh, some residential street and all of a sudden there's uh, this store. This store, yeah, and we were looking at the prices and they were really cheap. And as well, uh, we got this uh, teapot, disregard the top because we broke the top. And it's also it was very pretty with the top. 
and we got this in Kyoto, in Tokyo. Also, it was very inexpensive. Very we... cheap. And we also got two small teacups with it at the same store, and I think these were like a dollar each. Very irregular, but very pretty. And mm -hmm. Nice texture here. Yeah, so when we ordered uh, this uh, particular set of teas, which we'll show in a second, uh, they also sent us this gift, uh, mm -hmm. which was uh, yuzu tea. So it's a, it's basically sencha, and uh, they added uh, yuzu mm -hmm. uh, chips, like small pieces. Flakes, in. yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of uh, like this, also sencha tea with cherry blossoms that I've tried before. But instead of cherry blossoms, there's yuzu. So can you tell what is uh, yuzu? So yeah, it's a citrus. It's like a lemon, I guess, but it has a different flavor to lemon. So it's like a orange, like a mandarin maybe, but but not like that. It's different. Yeah, it's kind of like a mix between the two, but like with lemon, much yeah. stronger uh, taste. And uh, when we were in Japan, we actually bought a bottle of concentrated juice yes. uh, from Yuzu. And uh, we use it with everywhere. Uh, food, uh, adding every, yeah, this essentially yeah. everywhere. It was. But it was just uh, just yuzu because mm -hmm. we've seen other things like uh, Trader Joe's sells uh, yuzu kind of dressing. Sauce, I guess, yeah. Yeah, but it has vinegar and other stuff, but that was just plain yuzu. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. So how much should I pour for this amount of like vinegar? Half, half approximately. Yeah, so they also have uh, instructions uh, whenever you buy from them. Mm -hmm. um, they send you various instructions for, um, yeah, approximately like that. So that's... It's gonna oh, be the like smell a smell is very strong. Yeah, so this is probably gonna be for like a cup, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I was talking about uh, they sent. Yes, like they a... send instructions, but they uh, usually say to brew much more than we like. I mean, if you like caffeine, it's it's very strong sometimes. If you brew like the whole thing. Yeah, so they, the, I guess they like their tea strong. Yeah, I mean you can do it stronger, just make it less. Mm -hmm. That's why you like these smaller cups because you can brew smaller amounts. They have different rule um, recommendations how to preserve teas, mm -hmm. which... In uh, English. In English, yeah. So they, there's like a whole instruction over here. But we got a hang of it. Like we started ordering from this company in 2018 mm -hmm. and we started with their using their instructions that then we adjusted it to how mm -hmm. we like it. So it's, it's a very simple yeah. process and it's all good. And the funny thing is we were, we were in Japan and we actually went to Uji. Yes. And uh, we on a, sh on a street, there are tea shops there. I mean, it's a famous town for its teas. And we were trying different teas mm -hmm. and I was surprised that they, yeah, these companies, free. yes, this company's uh, teas are extremely good in comparison to what we we had yeah, Japan. like the teas we tried were also good, but they were very strong and like unbalanced. Like this is like for people who really can appreciate like very balanced teas. Because maybe we, we, we actually ordered other teas on Amazon before from also Uji and what was the other famous uh, tea place. It was much different. It wasn't balanced like this. So the way you brew, well, this is Sencha. Sencha is brewed to 80 degrees. That's what they recommend. Mm -hmm. So you would have to have Other tea cups, cups to like pour out. Here are mm -hmm. some other cups that we have. This is also from Japan, but we ordered this on Amazon. So Sencha. it requires 80 degrees. So we boiled water in a teapot. So it's uh, just boiled water to 100 degrees. And then, so you we pour like whenever whatever we need amount. So for mm -hmm. the half a spoon, we prefer like almost like a cup, I guess. Well, I guess less. Yeah, slightly much, less. Much, much less. Mm -hmm. If you want like a stronger flavor, I would do less. And then after that, you... Pour it one more time. And mm -hmm. pour it into the teapot. So you need like approximately 60 seconds, right? Yeah. And this the tea, and these teas, you can brew them up to five times. Like at least yeah. we do that. They say that you can three brew times. them three, four times, mm -hmm. but we do five. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they and still taste great. Especially the ones that are roasted, the hujicha. Huj 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 okay. We really like this one. It has pretty mm -hmm. um, artwork. artwork on top and it's actually Sakura. handmade, I think. And it's from Japan. So when we bought it in Tokyo, so mm -hmm. it's like a memorabilia for us yeah but hibikian they sell different tea accessories including teapots mm -hmm. and teapots they come with different filtration system like yes. this one for, for instance it has a uh, a metal one that's what we have yeah. like, and i guess that's a cheaper probably version because mm -hmm. typically traditionally they have uh, this netting yes. and like um Sift. Made out of ceramic. Ceramic or, yeah, uh, yeah ceramic. So, Hibikion has some of that. Yeah, this uh, tea looks very 
This first brew is very bright. Yeah, the first brew is typically mm -hmm. mild, right? Mm-hmm. And the second brew is usually the strongest. Okay, so shall we give it a try? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's delicious. Wow, it's amazing. Very fresh yuzu. They added just the right amount of yuzu that it didn't overpower the tea, mm -hmm. but added this like citrusy flavor to it. It's yeah. just, just amazing. It's a very specific citrus, yeah. And they say here that it's, it has health benefits to it. it. Prevents like exhaustion and hypertension. So it has like more bioflavonoids than oranges and three times more than lemons. So it's, they actually gave this to us, so they're not gonna sell this uh, yuzu tea. And they gave a lot of it to us, like we've already drunk like half of it, I think. So it's just as a gift for us. So. Yeah, it's a seasonal one-time thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they do that okay, actually often. Yeah. So they send these teas, uh, I guess, to many countries. They offer express mail, which I think it's in orders of, yeah, 150. Yes. And yes. Uh, you get free uh, shipping and then you get it, I think, like two, three days. Yeah, sometimes. it depends on where you live. Oh. We order them like once a year, probably, these teas. And we keep them in the fridge so that they're, they store better. You can also freeze them. That supposedly stores them even mm -hmm. better. They recommend to store their teas in a special containers yeah. that are really airtight. Yeah, we haven't yeah. tried that. I mean, yeah. we, could, we could try that in the future. And Hibikian sells them if you would like to get them. <laughs> Andre bought this. Uh, this I think it's called the Foroshki wrapping fabric, I guess, fabric cloth. Cloth. Um, so this one was very cute. It has all kinds of cats. Yeah, these cats like doing different things, and they're really funny. Yeah. These cats ones, especially, I like them. <laughs> yeah. Very cute, very interesting, like you can observe them one by one. Some of them are trying to nap, others are catching This is mice. like a sick cat. <laughs> yeah, this one is emaciated. Yeah. Mm. This one's playing with the fabric, which I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very interesting. And they, these uh, fabrics are not expensive, actually. Mm -hmm. And they're very beautiful. There are other ones that we ordered from mm -hmm. for your gifts, and they're very pretty. Yeah, the Japanese they have um, the Hibikian, they send us the instructions mm -hmm. on how to use this uh, wrap and paper. Yes. And uh, we haven't tried it, but uh, they have um, examples of how it looks mm -hmm. on, the, on their website, and it looks very pretty. Yeah. Or you can just hang them up on the wall, and they're very pretty like that as well. Yeah. And just looking at them every day. So depends on how you like them or you can yeah wrap them as a gift or as like a bento box or something like a yeah artwork on the mm -hmm. wall as you said uh, we also ordered other things uh, from them yeah this was a gift that we got someone in the smell already you can tell what it is already so this this is incense sticks they're very small but they're made with green tea as well as uh, traditional Chinese herbs that are used in uh, for medicine it's it gives off a healthy smell and like supposedly calms you down and they also all the time they send this uh, postcard that you can actually use as a postcard um, every single time with different pictures it's very beautiful yeah so these incense uh, they say that um, they were very popular among, among japanese nobility nobility yes ah. so this is mm -hmm. a special lighter igniter yeah. electric and i just like just a little bit like you don't even have to like put it on fire mm -hmm. as incense but you can and already you can see you can smell mm -hmm. the sweet very sweet flavor of tea yeah very sweet yeah very nice mm -hmm. and calming mm -hmm. so uh, we made this order with these teacups and uh, mm -hmm. teas and they for my uh, birthday for, my, for christina's birthday and uh, they send this uh, gift card yeah yeah very cute mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, they they don't skimp on like small details. I guess we can show other teas that we order sure. from them. Yeah, when they brew um, teas in Japan, they're really strong. Yes. Like, uh, I don't know. They, they like to do that because they want to taste the specific, I guess, subtleties of the tea itself. Mm -hmm. That's the only way yeah. you can, you know, really feel them. Otherwise, it's just really mellow. And I guess mellow is how we like it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we do like half as much as they recommend. Come but it really teas. depends on the type of tea that you brew. Like this sencha is really good when it's mild. So we're gonna... Brew the second? The second time. But, uh, as we said, the second time is much stronger. Mm -hmm. And for this reason... Yeah, the tea leaves, they're, they're saturated with the water from the first brew. So that, that way they still have the flavor in them. So that's why the second brew is very, is very strong. There you go. 
Mm-hmm. And here are the other teas that we have. We have more. And we've tried more in the past as well. It also depends on the season. Like sometimes some of these, like this uh, Shincho one, I don't see it here. That's only in the springtime. So this is your favorite tea. Yeah, it's funny how my favorite tea is just regular their house entry. Mm-hmm. Nothing so, more, yeah. nothing less. So this house, uh, so they have like this hierarchy of teas. This house sencha is uh, like the cheaper one. That's why it's called house. So that's like on the house. So it's like mm, less, uh, has less of those specific like hand-picked leaves and more like regular leaves, I think. I'm not, maybe not right on this, but um, they have the description on the website. So that's why it's a little bit more or less expensive, but funnily enough, you like it more. Yeah, I don't know what is it, but the, the flavor is like caramel of some sort, like very specific flavor that I just can't get out of other teas that mm-hmm. I, I love. Oh, this is Shincha actually. I don't think you've we've tried ever tried this one organic, the Sencha Premium, but this is Shincha. It's like the first tea harvest, so it's the first uh, Sencha that is harvested. And also on each of these bags, they tell you how much you need to brew. They have Fukamushi, right? Mm-hmm. Sencha Fukamushi. And... Oh, yeah, we really like this one. And we've tried, so this is also the premium one. Uh, what is it called when it's not premium, less than premium? Superior. Superior. Yeah, so that's also like the lowest, I guess. So f- like the lowest, lowest, I think is house. And then uh, after that is the superior one. But after that is the premium, which is a little bit more expensive. So you get less tea. We found, like, we've tried all of them. This is, like, the very best uh, Sencha Fukumoshi, the premium one. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Like, it's incomparable to other ones. You can't, like, after this, you don't want to try anything else. And uh, it brews really mm-hmm. quickly, and it's very strong yeah. if you wait too long. Mm-hmm. Because the Fukumoshi, are, I think they're um, split, like, the, the leaves themselves. Yeah, yeah, they're much thinner. Yeah, they're very small. Oh, the Hojicha. So, Hojicha is very... It's like a roasted tea, but this one, especially the karegane, is made with the stems instead of the leaves. And it's amazing. It tastes like caramel. Like the regular hojicha is, is like a black tea, I guess, but it's very different, but like the, I guess the most similar. But this karegane is like caramel. Amazing. And we have this one, for example, yeah, the gyokuro, gyokuro uh, karegane also. So this is the gyokuro, but it's... Uh, it has the stems. So we also have these teas that we've been drinking for a long time now. So this was actually the Shincha Gyokuro. And so it's the first harvest, very light flavored. Yeah, it's very mild compared to yeah. regular Gyokuro. Yeah, I would say for this one, you should brew it really, very strong in order to taste it better. Uh, this, so they have two of these different ones, uh, Gain Matcha. Yeah, so Gain Matcha is I guess it's like sencha, but with added uh, roasted rice. And it also has, mm, oh well, this one has also matcha added. Yeah, so there's a gay g- matcha, matcha, matcha yiri. yiri. So that has a matcha as well, powder added. Yes. And so it has a more kick to it. Mm-hmm. And it's also more beautiful in color when you mm. brew it. This is also one of my favorite teas, this uh, gay matcha, matcha yiri. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I really like the roasted rice, it adds Kind of like another dimension and flavor to mm-hmm. it compares to nothing else. I remember that when we first started ordering, you liked this one better, the mm. regular Gin Matcha, mm. which is just with the with the roasted. And then I remember you switched to this one, you liked it more, more for some reason. And of course there's Matcha, which... Yeah, we, we also ordered from them. We ordered from them a couple of times. We don't have it here, but uh, there's one specific Matcha. Uh, it was aged out. That was really good. And- oh, amazing. We also recently were pairing uh, this Japanese teas with uh, chocolate that we bought also uh, more recently from Zorer. It's uh, extremely nice chocolate, uh, premium uh, with uh, v- rare varieties of cacao. They're amazing. They're not as bitter and uh, sour compared to like, the regular African chocolate. And I uh, really like this one um, from Peru. Uh, it's made in Austria, and we have another video mm-hmm. where we review. So here's this hoji chakaragani. So it's the roasted tea, but it's not uh, leaves, it's uh, st- st- stems. And the smell is incredible, amazing. Yeah, it smells like caramel. Like caramel, coffee, chocolate, all in one. And you don't brew it very long. It's, 
I guess it's like 30, 40 seconds, no more. It brews mm -hmm. pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And you have to just put the boiling water in. Yeah, but this, uh, only the Karigani one is uh, amazing like this. We've tried the other one, but it's not as coffee, caramel, chocolatey as this one is. Drop it in. And this one can be brewed like five times and it's always good. Yeah, so they have instructions, right, for these teas, but at the end of the day, you choose the quantity of water and teas to your liking, I guess, that's, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Like, they have recommended that you can start with that, but then kind of transition and mer converge mm -hmm. something. Wow, and the smell that's emitting right now, it's amazing. Mm, very sweet, it's hard to describe, very sweet. Well, sweet, but chocolatey, kind of like, that's why it's good to pair with this chocolate. And the second brew is also stronger. Yeah, so this is kind of the color you get. Sometimes like you can brew it much darker too. Yeah, it probably as close as you can get to black tea, but it's mm -hmm. nowhere like the tan yeah. the amount of tannins is nowhere near no. as in black tea. And we also we make our own uh, tea. Uh, it's an herbal tea made from Ivan Chai. That's called uh, fireweed. Fireweed tea. And that's an herbal tea that tastes exactly like black tea and you can make it yourself. Fermented. Without caffeine, it's and it doesn't have caffeine. Yeah, that's perfect. It tastes much better actually. Than if, if you live in the areas where it grows, where yeah. it grows, yeah, in the colder parts. Yeah, so this tea is amazing. This yeah. hojicha, karigani. It's wow. Yeah, let's give it a try. It has this incredibly sweet smell and flavor. Yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every time it, it's not as strong and doesn't have as much caffeine. Um, so if, if we sometimes drink it towards the mid afternoon or something mm -hmm. so we we drink it sometimes but yeah and i think that also is because not only is the hojicha itself less caffeine but the karigani the even less the tea twigs they mm. have less caffeine than the tea leaves so that's another reason right. yeah well the the only strong one is matcha as well as the fukamushi, fukamushi. yeah mm. that one is really strong like i can feel it when i drink yeah. that yeah I mean, after all, matcha is just powdered tea leaves, mm -hmm. and you you basically ingest them. And with fukamushi, it's, it's very same, thin, yeah. thin um, tea leaves, which really is a lot of, I guess, caffeine, mm -hmm. and that's probably yeah. why. Yeah. So this time we'll try shincha gyokuro. Mm -hmm. So this is the first harvest of this uh, gyokuro. Yeah, that's what shincha mean. And it's a bit uh, weak as far as like sencha goes. So we have to like um, add more of this. Or brew or longer. longer or, or make the water less. So. Oh, and here are the nice coasters. Yeah, um, they also sell them uh, these uh, fabric coasters. They're really nice to touch. And these are uh, dragonflies mm -hmm. uh, that are depicted. Yeah, very beautiful. They yeah. have another coaster, but I like this one. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll just... Since it's a gyokura, it should be like around 60 yeah. degrees, so we'll pour it like a couple don't. of times, yeah. They also sell like special accessories where you can make your own kind of like a tea ceremony mm -hmm. with a whisk, I think. Uh, yeah, they have whisks, they have like different tea cups that are like for water, water cups. Oh, this is really pretty actually, if you see the inside color, mm -hmm. it's green. Check it out. Beautiful. Okay, let's do a taste test. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah, I think we uh, put more tea leaves than usual. Yeah. So you can definitely sense more, more of shincha. Yeah, it's not it's overpowering. Better. Yeah, it's exactly. That's what shincha is, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's tasty, mellow. it's mellow and very th subtle taste. Yeah, but it's delicious. Like, in any case, it's really good. So this time we're gonna try another tea. And Your favorite tea. Yeah, it's a uh, matcha matcha iri. Mm -hmm. So this one has the matcha added. The matcha doesn't give like a strong flavor, but it's really pretty. But it does change the flavor a little bit. Yeah, and because there's matcha there, it's gonna be really uh, green when we pour it, or white or a light color. So yeah, so that's uh, really first brew. I really like first brew because you can taste the matcha more. And you can smell the rice, and it's very fresh rice they have. And you also like this tea for Oshizuke. Ah, oh, that's right, it's yes. It's like this uh, soup. So like this rice and uh, fish. And then they pour this this tea, this specific tea, 
gain much over it. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, I, I, I made my own. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm, very nice. Very good. The, the quality is very good in all of these cheese. Yeah, it's amazing. Like the, you can sense like the roasted uh, rice a little bit. Mm -hmm. and then the matcha gives it a little bit of a kick. So yes. Yeah, so today we'll be trying my favorite tea, mm -hmm. which is how essential. So it says here like one and a half uh, tablespoons, but we're gonna do like twice as less. So this house essential, it's like a, it said, it's called that way because it's uh, for that like on the house, like when you're drinking it like every single day. Yeah, if you go like mm -hmm. to cafe or restaurant, they bring you like a their regular mm -hmm. typical sencha, and that's that's what it is, I guess. All right, let's give it a try. Yes, the smell alone is worth it. Mm, yeah, it's very aromatic, like very like that umami that everyone is talking about. Very yeah, nice. Very mellow, not too strong. Like it's not like a very very strong tea, which is great. Yeah, it's like your everyday type of tea that you can drink. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we usually buy more for house and compared to other teas. Well, we buy some of the like Fukamushi or maybe some more expensive teas just to try. And uh, once in a while, yeah, once in a while. But uh, excellent tea. Mm -hmm. We hope that you will get the chance to try these amazing teas from Hibikyan. We left a link to Hibikyan in the description for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more food review videos and other interesting travel content in the future.